Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Urban Legends video. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll do another entry here, the last one at least for this series, for this go around. This one is a past suggestion as well. It was suggested about two entries back or so. And it has to do with an entry that I was thinking about putting it on the Cryptids and Monsters side, if but for the fact that it reminded me so much of, let's say, like La Llorona where it's more of like a story, it's become more of a widely accepted story rather than let's say a niche thing like cryptid type stuff. So I would include it here on the Urban Legends side and when reading the information it seems like it's pretty interesting. Don't know how much of this of course is true but if you do take it for what it's worth it seems like this is absolutely something that still gets passed down within uh, generation after generation. It's almost taken on like a folklore type status and this urban legend has to do with a creature known as the red cap or in other places it's known as the bloody cap which you're looking at a picture of here very distinctive name there's a very uh, specific meaning associated to that name too that I'll explain here for a few minutes but instantly it, it makes you think of all the other scary stories that one heard as a kid growing up so so what is the red cap well if you believe the information tied to it it's a creature an evil goblin of some sort or maybe even a troll of some sort that lives somewhere within Scotland or maybe throughout various parts of Europe basically it's a creature that has survived a very very long time so much so that it's been and said that it lives in the old castles and towers that permeate multiple areas of the um, I guess the 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 borders there so if you're ever in those areas in England and Scotland and then you happen to see some of those castles that are just withering away through uh, centuries of time that may be a location of this red cap and it was there during that time period I guess when they were being used that's how old this thing is now whether there's multiple red caps or whether there's just one I did not find information as to like uh, specifically stating how how that is but at least what I read it made it seem like there's just one and it just happens to live within multiple parts I guess of these castles maybe one castle one period and then it moves to another one the reason for this is because of how it hunts unfortunately it that absolutely seems to hunt people in fact it seems to prey on tourists now more days than anything else and the reason for it is because it has to survive based on those hunts. This ties into what I was mentioning earlier with regards to its name. The reason why it's called Red Cap is because it has a very distinctive cap of some sort, almost like a scarf that it wears on the top of its head. And this can either be made from clothing or in a more sinister side it can be made from human skin. And the way the story goes is it has to stay red. I don't know why but it has to stay red and this is because it keeps this red cap alive and the only way to keep it red is if you add 2 plus 2 it has to come from blood and of course the only way to get that blood is from humans so that's why it seems to attack according to folklore so many people throughout so many years because it absolutely has to stay alive and it seems like it also seems to enjoy what it does when it comes to its hunt um, it preys on travelers especially those that happen to come across those areas tourists would absolutely be a prime target because tourists would be I guess the only ones that would even go towards those places I imagine the locals there by now I mean seeing those castles to them is just another site in their daily lives but for tourists it is absolutely a place to visit take selfies upload on Facebook whatever and then that's when this thing will then put will when, when uh, basically come towards them push boulders from the castle or from nearby grassy areas onto them which kind of I guess either kills them outright or if not temporarily stuns them and then it, that's when it goes in with the kill because it contains uh, it carries with it something like an iron scythe of some sort and once that happens then it takes their bodies back up to its lair who knows where it is but it should be close by to these castles and then that's when it starts stringing up these bodies up into the ceiling 
and then starts collecting their blood. Much like an, like an Eli Roth type horror movie, this is the creature known as the Red Cap. My apologies, I did not talk about its characteristics, its physical characteristics. So you've seen from the pictures, it's supposed to be a tiny goblin-like man, uh, particularly looking very old, old, old man. It has long, strangly, dirty hair. Its eyes are very distinct in the sense that it has reddish eyes, so you can absolutely uh, tell that you're looking at a red cap through those reddish eyes. Its talons seem to be very long, very sharp as well. Its fingers also pretty skinny, and then it has very long protruding teeth. Interesting is the fact that it has boots, but these boots are not just, let's say, made out of leather or anything else. No seems to have these boots made out of iron you would think that with such a heavy metal that it would not be able to scutter about but it can apparently uh, the first thing that came to mind is it moves like almost as fast as let's say uh, since I'm a huge Star Wars fan like Yoda from the Attack of the Clones like that's how fast it moves uh, when it truly needs to it's been known to just run about as quickly as can be so much so that it just takes people completely by surprise and then that's when it's too little too late so even though it seems to have these boots do not let it hinder do not let you yourself think that it will hinder it nope this thing will push will move as quickly very very fast and it's almost impossible to outrun as well so even if you have a head start with this thing uh, you won't have much of a chance to outrun it there is one way and one way only apparently to protect yourself from this red cap those of you that are into the Bible especially are gonna be very fortunate here because all you have to do is just quote a passage from the Bible now I don't know if it's a very specific one-time passage only or if you can quote any other passage as well from the Bible but this is supposed to make sure that this red cap stops in its tracks and then is no longer going after you so at least the information I read on the scary for kids website stated that the passage there is watch out for the heartless red cap because he'd rather see you dead he'd love to squeeze out all of your blood than put it on your head now I don't I don't recall like something like this being in the Bible but that at least the website made it seem like that's what that was but I mean Imagine that it's something else like you can just quote any other safe uh, quote from the Bible and then that'll allow you safe passage through the red caps layer but that's it that's all the information associated with this urban legend this folklore type creature still passing along through those lands there in Scotland and in England if anyone has any more information about this creepy looking creature please post those comments below some of you that are from that area uh, you would have to know about this creature more because it seems like again it's part of almost a folklore there so if those of you that have that info that would be really good to hear too so so, all right, everybody. Thanks again, as always. Take care.